This is a weird, weird year, and restaurants in New York are doing their best to adjust to new regulations. So a lot of the dining we do indoors is now all outdoors. In this New York food video, we're going to experience two outdoor dining hot pot restaurants in two different areas of New York, one in Manhattan and one in Flushing. Things may have changed, but hopefully the flavors stay the same. Phew, I love that line. That's a good one. Yeah, good voiceover. <laughs> just arrived at the first hot pot restaurant and this is like 6 p.m. on a Saturday night and there's actually not a lot of people and I don't think a lot of people know about this place offering outdoor hot pot yet so you know <laughs> now you guys do um, apparently there's like a sauce station inside so I'm gonna take you guys inside first to see and check that out and then we can start ordering and enjoying our hot pot okay let's go when you walk inside it comes with ice cream so unlimited ice cream oh my god you guys look at this Wow, there's so much more ice cream than I was expecting. Oh my gosh, just an ice cream buffet. Okay, and you can also get, whoa, is this included or? No beer, but this is included. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, look at the drinks that they have, you guys. This is like, so this is all included as well. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm like way too excited because usually at hot pot places, they maybe have like some soda, but it looks like they have the juice and the teas. They have like the grass jelly drink. Oh my God, they have apple sofa. This right here, the apple soda. Oh my goodness, I am in love. I'm so happy. Okay, this is amazing. <laughs> oh my God, chrysanthemum tea, lychee tea. Y'all, this, this is lit. I did not, I didn't even know about this. Okay, so you have to pay for the beer, but it comes with this. Over here is the sauce station. Oh my gosh, this hot pot place is like really good. <laughs> Okay, so pretty clean, you guys can see. Um, it has everything you everything you want. Oh, cilantro! I love cilantro! Oh my gosh, I was... Ooh, yeah, just clear out that cilantro. BBQ sauce, soy sauce, a little bit of garlic, cilantro, green onion, and a little bit of chili. You can't go wrong with that combo, y'all. And if you guys are like, I don't wanna do the saucy thing, just go with the sesame sauce, man. That stuff with the meat. You have this huge paper menu here where you can order all the stuff you want and you get an hour and 40 minutes for dining and it looks like there's quite a huge selection of stuff. You have beef, you have steak, you have pork belly, Ooh, you have dumplings as well, you have spam, you have lamb. You also have crab and shrimp. Oh my gosh, this is so much more than I was expecting. Well, on these spicy burgers, they have like beef spicy hot, they have spicy butter beef, pickled cabbage spicy, Korean kimchi beef soup. Ooh. Thai spicy pork. Oh, this is like a lot of choices. I haven't seen a hot pot place with this many choices yet. Um, on the not spicy part, you have seaweed with beef, pickled cabbage, sour, northeast sour cabbage. They have such a wide selection. I think I'm gonna go with one of the pork broth for one side and then maybe like a spicy beef or the tomato broth. It's a fixed price, so it's $36.55 for each person, not including tax and tip, for all you can eat. <laughs> uh, you also get unlimited ice cream and you also get awesome drinks like this. This is the hot pot pot. It's a lot smaller than like, you know, in a lot of the restaurant hot pot. However, it's, it's, it's much cuter. <laughs> you can get two soup base here. So we, I went with the spicy butter beef and I think this is a pork with basil. Yeah, there we go. Just so you guys know, there's gloves here and there is ah, hand sanitizer. Okay, let's get started. This is the meat portion sizes. It looks like every order comes with like four to five pieces. Not that many pieces, but remember, this is all you can eat. So you can literally keep ordering outdoor dining so there's bugs. So we're gonna try this snow skin beef. It's like kind of fatty, kind of not. We got a really fatty beef. Um, and it, the snow skin is kind of like the medium. I can't really tell which one's which right now, but let's try it. I feel like whenever people see my sauce, they're always like triggered because it's literally a pool of cilantro. <laughs> it's like cilantro with a side of sauce is how I like to say it. Mm. Mm. 
a bit tough, honestly. Yeah, a bit tough. So this is the fattier beef. Mm. Of course, the fattier beef is so much better. And also, I'm getting to taste a lot of the spice from the soup as well. I also got the mild, and it's still pretty spicy. <laughs> I think I've just like quarantine just made me weaker. They just like my spice tolerance just went. <laughs> All right, folks, this right here. Apple sidra, sidra, Pingguo sasu. Oh my gosh, this is like, this is gold right here. Like, <laughs> if I could, I would take 10 bottles home. This stuff is so good. It's like um, apple flavor Sprite, basically. It's delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. How swap. I didn't, I didn't realize, but it actually comes with little tongs and also like little scoopy things. So <laughs> I'll use that now. <laughs> Try the lamb. Mm, quality of, I mean, like, it's not bad. It's not like, whoa, but it is unlimited hot pot. So I would say the fatty beef is probably the best, obviously, because it's softer, but it's not bad. Not bad. And the soup. The numminess of the soup is like a lot more tolerable than some of the other hot pot places I've been to. I'm honestly digging this whole like outdoor hot pot situation. Like, look, this is festive. I, I feel like I'm dining in Asia. You know, when there's like outside and we're eating by the street. Yeah. Also, it's not a very windy day, which I think is why it's so pleasant right now. One of my favorite hot pot items to get are gnocchi mushrooms. They are so crunchy. It's like thready and crunchy. Just little bites of heaven. That's what I crave every time I hot pot. I'm not, I'm not kidding right now. Also these fish balls, hopefully, these are the fish balls with little um, like fish rolls inside. So we're gonna see. They usually squirt, so I gotta be careful. Oh man. No oh, man, there's nothing inside. Oh. Oh. It's just empty. Empty promises. That's a the theme of 2020. Oh man. There are those fish balls with like little fish roll inside, so they're crunchy on the inside, soft on the outside. This is not one of them. But still, gotta love fish balls, right? So spicy. I feel it. This is the perfect hot pot weather right now in New York. Not too hot, kind of breezy, but not too cold. Just perfect. I like this soup base. It's like just spicy enough. You feel the little numbness on your tongue and your lips, but not too overwhelming where you literally cannot eat from the pot. But I've had I had like soup so spicy that I was I quit maybe like 15 minute in because I was like, I can't eat from this spicy soup anymore. By the way, you guys, when you guys come, the bacon beef is the fatty one and that's the good one. Oh yeah. Mm. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a Google map and I'm going to save all of this, like my favorite spots and go-to spots in New York and then give you guys access to it. So what you can do is sign up the link below. You can sign up to my newsletter and then I'll send you the map link. You can also get updates on like, what we're working on here in New York, my coaching stuff, any like behind the scenes stuff. Yeah, so be sure to click the link in the description so you can sign up and get this map. I'm also gonna like add to it as we film more and more in New York. I already have a bunch of stuff on the map, so be sure to get it, get it and download. <laughs> end our time here at this all we can eat hot pot let's eat this octopus <laughs> oh my gosh this is the first time i've ever like 
cooked a whole octopus like this in my hot pot. I don't even know how to eat this, honestly. Look at this. All right. I guess I'll just start with the leg. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> it's like a little hat. Whoop. <laughs> it's so fishy. <laughs> It's got that like fishy taste. It's like really fishy. I can't. I kind of like this lighting as well. It's almost on the oily side, but I can also pull it off as dewy, you know, from all the hot pot smoke. It's like a dewy, moist look. Ding! All right, folks. Check it out. I've been working out during quarantine. Ayo, hey, check this out. Oh! Oh yeah! Wow! Oh, this is actually delicious. Oh my gosh! Smack! Mm -mm -mm. This is the waiting room. Hello, my Hello. friends. <laughs> How many hot pot restaurants did we go to? Uh. We tried two different ones and they were both closed. Yes. This is very sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but now we're here, so. Now we're here! I'm just was open. I actually checked another one, the Little Sheep Mongolian Hot Pot, and that's closed as well. So if you guys are trying to hot pot and flushing, just probably don't come in the afternoon. <laughs> probably don't come in the afternoon. They're probably open at night, but I also don't know. A lot of the times are not updated. At least this one's open. We've actually been here before. Um, Tina came with us too. And this is like the Christmas episode. It's so yummy. It was it was pretty good when we came. So we'll see how things, you know, if it's still as good. Do 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 adventure time. Hot pot in my belly. Ah, that's what we came here for last time, you guys. Teddy bear hot pot soup. That's kind of cool that they have this space though. A lot of restaurants aren't so lucky with the space. Oh, cool! Oh, wow! Interesting. Oh, it smells so good. This is the table situation. We are inside and I'm super confused um, what it is because I'm not sure if it's a limited hot pot or all you can eat hot pot. Like I'm just confused because we just <laughs> we just like sit down and then they're like, all right, what soup base do you want? And I'm like, huh? What is that? <laughs> okay, so you don't get any menus, which makes sense because like they probably don't want you touching stuff. But it looks like there's an area where you can grab all of the food, kind of like a hot pot buffet status. So we're gonna go there and see what kind of stuff they have and then start our hot pot adventure. Okay, I don't even know how much this costs. I have I just walked I just walked in. <laughs> I was prepared to go somewhere else. That's why. <laughs> Okay, so when you enter the buffet space, there's like a little dim sum area and it looks like there's chicken wings, pork ears, and then right over here, there's all of the meat. So beef, lamb, and meat area. And they come in these like little plastic containers like that. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So here's all the drinks that you can grab. So you put all the food here? Yeah. And you can get them from the Oh! There are these little carrier things that you can grab. And basically you're gonna put the little food in the little carrier things. It's kind of like shopping at a grocery store. So there's some veggies here that you can grab and then there's other stuff in the little containers. You're gonna have to need to read Chinese because there's no English translation. Looks like there's meatballs, there's fish right here, there's little sausages, shrimp. What's that? More shrimp? And I can't even see what what's that? I can't even see it. I can't. What's that guys? You have to let me know because I can't see it. <laughs> Only my camera can see it. I grab one, then just slide it down. Oh my god, this is so fun. It's like grocery shopping, but for hot pot. So then here we have some seaweed. This looks like some type of melon thing. Or potato? I think this is potato, sorry. Bean sprout, noodles, 
tofu. Oh, more noodles. This is like the little bread donut thing right there that you can dip into your soup. They have all types of hot sauce, garlic, sesame oil stuff. Oh, and there's like dessert right there. I think that's like sesame balls. Just got my sauce. I promise there's sauce there, even though it looks like a bunch of cilantro. Ta -da! Wow. Alright, alright. Let's try this. Mm, dip it into a pool of cilantro. Alright, try this. Mm. Oh! It's so spicy! Oh my god! We don't think that's spicy. <laughs> wow! We got the mild. It's a mild too, right? Oh! Woo! Oh my god. It's like the type of spicy that hurts so good. It hurts so good. That is the correct way to describe it. Oh, -ho, I love enoki. Enoki heaven. Look how spicy this is, you guys. This is deadly. This is this right here is mouth suicide. I'm scared, but I love enoki mushrooms. solidifies and it tastes like chewy squid balls. So good. Mm. Wow. Yum yum. But I wore this shirt because if you go to Haiti Lao, if you go to the other hot pot place, they give you a bib. But this one they don't. So I'm basically playing with fire here. Trying not to get some spicy sauce on my shirt. Obviously not going to be like the best quality because it's all you can eat. But they, they slice it really, really thin, so it almost tastes soft. <laughs> Look how scary that looks. So scary. This is like my third trip back here. I'm having a lot more fun than I thought I was going to have today eating hot pot. <laughs> There's more dim sum stuff now. I Oh, this is like pig intestine. Um, some type of beef, beef and chicken feet. So they just were stocked. They have tripe, they have crab meat, they have these stumbling things. I'm gonna get these. Okay, folks, look, they have these buns. They don't have like condensed milk or things to dip it in, but they have these buns. So we're gonna try that. And I wanted to try this noodley thing. But it's not, it's kind of made, it's made out of some type of like starch or flour. I'm sure. Yes, yes, all right. Kind of like jello-y. Oh, yes. Oh, the thing about outdoor dining, you guys, is like there's wind everywhere. Things are blowing your face. Your napkin's flying off. Your, your plate suddenly flips over. <laughs> it's an experience for sure. Let's try this. Why did I blow on it? It's cold. Mmm. It's like jelly. It's like jelly with a little bit of spiciness to it. Very, very refreshing. There's no chew to the jelly. It just like falls apart. Yeah. Mm. Can't go wrong with these. <laughs> a bit dry without. It's a bit dry without something to dip in, but just wrapped it with my beef. Next level combo. <laughs> I love hot pot, outdoor hot pot. <laughs> okay, oh, my napkin just flew off for the second time. I see two napkins on the ground and they're both mine. So I've actually gone to the other hot pot place before and I would say it's a little bit more blocked off so they, they it's more like enclosed. And the other hot pot place, they actually don't reuse the little 
is they don't have like reusable little tins. They actually have like plastic boxes. So, so at the other hot pot place, they have like the container for all the ingredients, every single ingredient. So it's a little bit not as environmentally friendly. This one is a little bit better because you can see they're reusing some of the stuff. However, things like your plates, still plastic plates, um, plastic saucer for sauce. I think every restaurant is just doing their best to, you know, doing their best to handle this outdoor dining situation. A limited menu is kind of missing some of the favorite things like corn or like winter melon or radish. But they do at least have like the shrimp paste ball, which is a fan favorite. They have the little breadstick thing that you can like dip into the soup. So there's a few things here and there, you know. I do appreciate uh, the little dim sum section where you can get like meat and cartilage, chicken feet. I think that's a good add. Overall, it's definitely like a different hot pot experience. It's a little bit more busy. There's a lot of things going on. Something just dropped. <laughs> we'll loop back with how, how today's going. Wait, 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 wait. Slap that. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, girl. Uh, get it. What? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Not to put the ball in my mouth. <laughs> it's so funny because like when you upload videos now there's always a section that's like is this made for kids and I always have to check no <laughs> did you see that? oh my god oh my god right? it's so bright here you guys that I, I legitly cannot see like how it looks like so there's actually stuff inside Meatballs within a ball. Full of surprises, ladies and gentlemen. It's actually really good, I like this one. <laughs> I'm like, really full. The thing with hot pie is you start eating, you just start eating, 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 and you kind of black out. And at the very end, you're like, what did I eat? What did I eat? Here comes the restock. Wow. They just added some new things. What is this? Oh, they added like little sticks of meat that you can add to your soup. <gasps> Wait, my corn! Oh my gosh, I was just ta I was just talking shit about them for not having corn. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love corn. I'm gonna take two. <laughs> I got me corn. Ha ha ha. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at. Oh yeah. <laughs> People who don't like cilantro are triggered. <laughs> All right, so the total was 110, not without tips. I didn't add tips yet, but not too bad. So per person is like 35, 35, yeah. That's not bad for like all we can eat hot pot during lunch. Okay, all right. Now that I know the price and then taking in consideration everything, I think it's not bad. It's not a bad experience. Um, it's a little bit hectic because it's outdoor dining, but like it, it's a, uh, if you're craving like the hot pot fix during this crazy time, I definitely think it gives it to you. And I like the little buffet area where you can grab food. <laughs> it's, it's an experience for sure. All right, getting some street dim sum, ayo. Try it Oh, chicken feet! Oh, Wow, sticky rice! No more shumai! No! So sad! No, it's okay. That's alright, I'll just get that then. Thanks so much. No more shumai! You must get boba! Boba! Thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, you guys, this looks amazing. Uh, it's kind of awkward to get boba now because you can't drink it on the street. You have your mask on and you can't drink it inside. <laughs> so what do you do? What do we do? <laughs> what do we do? Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's still warm. The boba is still warm. It's so strange because it's like, look at it, you guys. <laughs> look at the tip, look at that. Savage bite. <laughs> just, a little, just a little nibble at the head. I'm gonna eat this in private. <laughs> <laughs> 